today th this will be my video documentation for criterion B of my computer science internal assessment. This is a calorie tracker program made for my client Liam McQuay, which is currently in year 12. So I will be constantly referring to this scratch pad here, which includes my success criteria, which can be found in criterion A, as well as the test plan, which can be found in criterion B, E, and record of tasks. So when the user initially opens the program, a login page pops up. This links to success criteria number 11, which allows users to store the initial name, starting mass, target mass, and height. So if we were to input abnormal data, the expected result as shown here would be a red uh, fail. Make sure numbers are inputted correctly. So what we have to do now is if we were test out using normal data, um, and when, once we click confirm, several things happen. Scenes are switched as I've used JavaFX, um, and that the scenes have now been loaded from login.fxml to main.fxml. So as we can see several things here. Number one, a notification system to remind the user to input weight, which links to test button 11. This is succeeded because I have not inputted weight for the date and the date current date from my uh, laptop is 8.53 p.m. This is past 8 p.m. So the notification system works and test plan 11 works we can also add allow user to add weight for example let's say i'm 80 kilograms for the day the bmi is generated the goal is generated and we can link into success criteria number one a calendar to keep organization of all of the weights we can see that it has been displayed right here 80 kilograms for the day so right now what i'm doing is to input some normal data which also links to as you can see right there i just edited the weight which links to the second part of success criteria number three so i'm going to be testing out normal data in the calendar which is test plan one so the purpose of this is when we go to graph analysis and we click on that qualitatively and quantitatively the graph by the way is success criteria number eight Linking to test plan 7, both of these has been uh, fulfilled qualitatively and quantitatively. So we can see 56, 54, that's a dip down here, 67 up, 65, 80. So this has been succeeded. So aside from the weights input and graph function, a main purpose of the calorie tracker, of course, is to track calories. And this could be done in the home controller manual inputs or alternatively here the different tabs so let's just say for example test one well i will be testing abnormal data the expected result of course would be that an error pops up so if we were to test normal data here and what i have done this is success criteria number four by the way which is to track breakfast lunch dinner snacks as you can see right here and when we link this to test plan number six and we click OK, this is normal data now since we have already tested abnormal. A few things pop up. Number one, a database is displayed to get these values and display them onto the screen, which links to number success criteria number six. Database is done. And seven, which is a micro nutritional values of daily intakes to present them in a suitable manner, pie chart, i.e. So 50, 50, 50, 50, that's fiber mass, carbs, mass, protein mass, fats mass split, which is 25% each. And linking to test plan nine, this is successful qualitatively and quantitatively as we can see with these values. Alternatively, you can also test it out in these separate in the home controller so let's just say test 2 and if we were to input uh, ab no sorry extreme data 9.999999 and let's just say 20 30 40 so we can also see a different form of pie chart a good thing about this is that this takes in the value and parses through it rounds it up to the nearest decimal place as you can see now the 9.9999 is rounded up so extreme data has also been accepted so it rounds it up to 10 and these are these are the correct sectors accordingly 10 20 30 40 10 20 30 40 and also uh, adding pre-assigned values is one of my success criteria this links to standard uh, sorry success criteria number five so the user can add the and 
chooses the uh, number of servings and it serves as the exact same function so let me do that again add uh, let's just say three for the day and when you click confirm these are the exact same things are just performing the same thing on the exercise class one of my non-standard algorithms will be a spreadsheet exporter so let me just input more values all right when we click OK there's an export to Excel function so when we let's just say save it to the desktop save as you can see right here exercises is created so when we check for test plan number five and make sure qualitatively and quantitatively the same things are exported yep that is true for both database for the, both the J Java FX table it's exact same and they correspond to each other which is very good my last success criteria will be test plan number 10 which is to make sure the net calories is correct as we have inputted weights for the day BMI is generated which is good furthermore the net calories is the difference between food intake which is a cumul cumulative sum of all of these minus exercise 1 2 8 3 all of these combined and as you can tell 3986 minus 1283 is 2703 which is the net calories for the day and this is successful which links to test plan number 10 the net calories is correct when we add these numbers together thank you for watching